Is this the Kingdom Hall? Yes. It is? Yes, this is the Kingdom Hall. Okay, yeah, I just had a quick, um, it's kind of a Bible question. Do you have a minute? Sure. Okay, Mark. great. Um, I've been looking some on JW.org, and um, I just had a question about the Trinity. Um, I can't find anywhere where they um, explain or define it as historic Christianity does. Um, they keep explaining it in other ways that no Christians like really believe. So do, do you know if there's a place where they actually use like Christian sources to explain it as it's been historically taught? Um, first of all, uh, I know it's a teaching, you know, in, uh, in the Catholic religion, and that's the only religion that I'm familiar with, is the Catholic religion. Yeah, Catholics, and Protestants, that, and Eastern Orthodox, and the ancient church, as well as okay. the Reformed. Yeah, pretty much. So it's, it's something that has been taught, but it's, um, it's not a Bible teaching, because nowhere in the Bible... When you when you search do, do research uh, in the Bible into the scriptures, uh, you won't find not even the word Trinity. Oh yeah, uh, but it, you know you guys have words too that um, aren't in the Bible, like field service and governing body, um, things like that. I wasn't really well, asking to get into it with you. I was just asking why do they misrepresent even. You know, because when people talk to witnesses, they say it's important to go to their source so that you don't misrepresent what they teach. But in this case, I can't see even one place where they use, like, for example, the creed in its context. Um, the creeds, like the all those denominations except the first three ecumenical creeds. This is just one example, like they will say, um, do you believe the Father and the Son are the same? But that's a vague question because um, the Trinity teaches that they are equal and the same of nature or essence, but distinct in person. So, um, and they never talk about like the um, the idea that as to his humanity, he is lesser than the Father, but equal to the Father as regards his divinity or deity which is in the Athanasian Creed. And, and you know, that covers all those verses, like uh, where he is sent and the Father is greater than I. He humbled himself to become a man. But um, that's, I'm really asking about why do they misrepresent the Trinity so much? And who is they? Well, the publications. As I said, I've never oh. found one that actually explains the historic... Um, very accepted within Christianity teaching. They, oh, they say, uh, do you believe that uh, Jesus is the Father? Oh, is he praying to himself? Ha ha. You know, that's so silly because this involves so many church fathers and scholars, and that's called a heresy of modalism. So um, that's not a good idea to represent some this you know that's called a straw man like just make it sound silly so you can easily knock it over you know do you so maybe you could help me find a place where they actually give the correct explanation because i haven't seen it uh the only the only place that i can direct you to is to go to jw.org yeah i, I go and there a lot under, and i haven't i haven't and seen it Trinity and then yeah look under Trinity and then they'll explain to you yeah no and no they don't all they kinds of yeah, again. There are all kinds of publications out there. Yeah, again, that, um, they don't explain. Like, did you know that um, the Trinity brochure uh, isn't really used much anymore because um, people just looked up the original sources and found they were leaving out words by using uh, dot, dot, dot? Mis that's called a misquote. I mean, it was just eviscerated by researchers. And theologians. Uh, what is your name? Do you mind if I get your name and number and 
I can do some research and then get back to you? Yeah, yeah. And, and it ha- do you live here in Grants? What? Do, do you live here in Grants? No. New Mexico? No. Oh. Do you, can okay. I give you my email? Uh, I don't have email. Oh, okay. No, I don't. Yeah, I don't, like, I I'm, have... I'm still in old school. <laughs> I know, I know, I know what you mean, but, um, yeah, um, I probably don't answer the phone that much, um, because sometimes I'm working and stuff like that, so, um, yeah, well, like see, I said, um, the only um, thing I can tell you is that you have to be open-minded to what the Bible says, and, yeah, yeah, and then, um, that's and why when we discuss the theology, people shouldn't misrepresent, you know, what it actually is, because if if the Trinity was an actual Bible teaching, it would be there. Oh, it is the there. It's, it's like presumed throughout, and even the Old Testament shows divine plurality in the nature of Yahweh. He uses, there's uh, plurals used, uh, plural nouns, adjectives, verbs, pronouns. There's the messenger of Jehovah, also called Jehovah, and worshipped. There's the divine wrestler, where Jacob said he wrestled with Jehovah. Did you study, have you studied the Bible before with Jehovah's Witnesses? Yeah, just, just for a little while. Oh, okay. Yeah. That explains why you use God's name. Oh, okay. we sing about it also in church. Um, and that's another thing they say that no one knows about it or tries to suppress it, which is completely false also. It's a mystery. They say it's, that the Trinity is a mystery and God is not a God of mystery. But I don't know. It just depends on, on the person, you know, of being open-minded, like I said, and and uh, and what makes more sense to you, you know? What makes what does makes it make sense, sense to you that Jehovah will fit into your mind and your categories exactly? They even have an article about uh, how can you understand that God is eternal, and it says even though it doesn't fit into our mind or our reason, it's it's well, still that's true. Well, because we're humans, you know, we're not. That's right. You know, we're, we're, I mean, he's the Almighty. He's That's all powerful. right. He's, so he can exist differently than we do. He can exist you know, differently our, than we do then also. Our, our knowledge has, it just doesn't compare to, to what he knows. Right, you know, and that's what you were just saying. to us only what he wants us to know. Right, and you were saying before it doesn't make sense to our little mind. That's true, it's beyond us, but he himself is way beyond us. Right. Yeah, so what you said doesn't really uh, negate that possibility. But anyways, um, well, you know, just check it out. Compare it with, like, say, the Athanasian Creed, if you're allowed to read oh, that. Oh, I don't need to do that. Any, I don't need to go any further than that. I well, already, for my question, I you have could, already established that you yeah. know, God is God, and Jesus is his Son, yeah. and the Holy Spirit is his active voice. Well, That's all I need to know. Well, then you wouldn't be able to answer my question, I guess, because you're just all not right. allowed well, to. thank you, then. Okay. Have a good day. God bless you. Okay. Bye-bye.